quite as vigorous as Speaker Fecto. But. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, absolutely. That was exciting, I have to say. Uh, like to uh, welcome everybody today. I'm called to order the Citizen Trade Policy Commission meeting today as November 16th, 2021. And it's great to see everyone here and uh, to have a quorum today. So that's really exciting. Uh, it is my first time chairing anything here in uh, the, in the House of Representatives or with the Commission. So I will uh, all, definitely defer to my institutional memory folks here, uh, and uh, please let me know if I, there's anything I should be doing differently. Uh, I want to officially say a very big thank you to Steve Langland, who has stepped in uh, from OPLA to be able to help us to constitute the Citizen Trade Policy Commission this year. Um, as we know, uh, it, over the past couple of years and with COVID, kind of have struggled to get the group together to meet, and so it's great to be able to do that, and a big thanks to, to Steve for that. Um, we will uh, basically today be looking at uh, introducing each other, and certainly for me, this is the first time I'm meeting uh, some of you, so it's great to, great to see you today. Um, we're going to, Steve's going to review the charge of the commission to make sure we're all on the same page about what we're about uh, with this important body. And uh, then we'll re uh, we will review our draft remote meeting policy, uh, since we are in uh, still in COVID, and we've got to uh, make sure we have uh, some guidelines about how to both meet here and then also accommodate times when we might not be able to either meet together or to meet individually, uh, and we'll need a remote policy for that. Uh, and we'll be discussing that as well, and a vote will be taken. And then we are also going to discuss the membership of the commission. Um, there's been some, obviously, some staffing, uh, some commissioner changes, and uh, some vacancies that exist, so we'll be discussing those, as well as some potential legislation to discuss uh, the method that we're using to staff the commission, which uh, we need to be looking at right now. Uh, then, fortunately, we have Sharon Treat here, commission member with us, who will be uh, presenting her Trade 101 presentation and really get us grounded in the current state of trade policy and trade affairs um, that we'll be dealing with moving forward. Uh, we'll have time for public comments, and uh, then we'll, we will need to also discuss some next steps and how we want to proceed as the commission moving forward. And then we'll adjourn. Uh, so with that, uh, I will hand it off, and just uh, it would be great if we could just hear from everyone, have everyone introduce themselves. Uh, we can start over here with, with uh, Commissioner Acero. All right. Uh, I my name is Jorge Acero. I represent the uh, Maine Department of Labor. Uh, maybe I'll wait while he, uh, Sean sits. Um, and uh, at the Department of Labor, I, uh, I work with uh, a couple of different areas. The Foreign Labor Program, which is the visa temporary worker programs that uh, employers use to bring in foreign workers either in agriculture or in non-agriculture. And then uh, also over as monitor advocate, I uh, provide protections uh, to migrant farm workers that come to work in Maine independently who are U.S. residents who, but travel uh, interstate for, uh, for farm jobs. And so my role is to assure their, uh, uh, their labor law protections and uh, health and safety and all that. Hi, I'm Chris Taub. I'm the Chief Deputy at the Maine Attorney General's Office. Good afternoon. I'm Mike Karaganis of the Maine DEP. Hello, I'm Sharon Tree. Um, I have been on the commission for a while, first as a member of the legislature, and since then, um, since leaving the legislature, I'm now working for an organization called the Institute for Agriculture and Trade Policy, where I work on a lot of environmental as well as agricultural issues and trade policy. And I'm glad to be here, glad that we're reconstituted. <laughs> um, hello, my name is Sean Douglas. I work at Mono Mono Hand in Hand, which is a nonprofit that provides uh, education and other support services to immigrants and migrant farm workers in Maine. 
Good afternoon. I'm Dave Miramon, Senator for Senate District 12, which is Knox County, except for the town of Washington. And I've been on this for a while, chaired it for a while, with a, my co-chair being Senator Hickman, who is now the chair. So it'll be fun serving with him with our roles reversed a little bit. But uh, this can be an exciting committee. It has yet to happen, but it could be. <laughs> <laughs> and I am uh, Tracy Gear. I represent House District 9, which is Kenny Bunkport and Coastal Biddeford and Kenny Bunk. I also serve on the Labor and Housing Committee with uh, esteemed Senator Miramont here and Senator Guerin and uh, others as well, and Senator Hickman, who, uh, so I'm the House Chair for the Citizen Trade Policy Commission. Uh, Senator Hickman is the Senate Chair. He is delayed a little bit today and asked us to get started Without him, he'll be here, it sounds like, around 120. Good afternoon. I'm Senator Stacy Guerin. I represent Southern Penobscot County. I'm also a board member of Hospitality of Maine, which certainly is affected a lot by um, our trade policies with Canada in being able to cross the border. So th it's been a committee of high interest for me. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Representative uh, Ed Crockett from District 43, which is part of Portland and part of Falmouth. I uh, apologize for being a few minutes late. I went to room 202 in the Capitol and said, I don't think that's the right place, <laughs> and came over here. Um, very excited to be part of this, uh, this group. One, I was on the uh, IDEA Committee last session um, on education uh, this time. But I'm a career business person. Um, Captain Eli Soda is a Maine-made uh, soda company that I that I run and own, and um, <clears throat> we do a lot. Of, we would like to do a lot more trading with our friends up north, uh, among other places. But uh, very excited about being here. Good afternoon. I'm John Patrick from Rumford, and uh, I'm the uh, person who was chosen by the speaker uh, to represent organized labor. Uh, like uh, Senator, former Senator Treat, uh, I served in many capacities, uh, was fortunate enough to be a co-sponsor of the bill. Uh, we got the bill passed. I was a House chair, a Senate chair, and have been on this committee for probably all but three or four years. And uh, it's a wonderful committee to serve on. Uh, there's an awful lot of information that you'll have to learn, but uh, it's fun, uh, it's exciting, and uh, we can make a difference. And I will say, one of the things that I learned right up front was we was either one of the first or second uh, commissions like this in the state of Maine, and uh, it is nationally recognized, and uh, so we do some great work here, and uh, with Sharon's expertise and a lot of her field and stuff, uh, we'll make a difference for the citizens of the state of Maine. Thanks. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Joel Case. I'm an emergency physician. Uh, clinically, I work here in uh, Central Maine uh, uh, for Maine General, for Togus, and up in Skowhegan at Reddington Fairview. Um, I've uh, also uh, been participating in the work of the Commission for uh, many years, uh, first appointed as the health care representative, representative by uh, then uh, Senate President Kevin Ray. Um, in addition to my clinical work, I've uh, over the years done a lot of uh, health policy work. I'm a past president of the uh, Maine Osteopathic Association, and I currently chair uh, the Council on State Health Affairs for the American Osteopathic Association, so do a lot of national level health policy work uh, where we monitor all of the uh, health-related activities going on in the state legislatures across the country, and uh, happy to be here. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Benjamin Mann. I'm the Deputy Commissioner of Finance at the Department of Health and Human Services. Uh, can you tell that I'm new? <laughs> Good afternoon. My name is Nancy McBrady. I am the Bureau Director of the Bureau of Agriculture, Food and Rural Resources within the Department of Agriculture, Conservation and Forestry. Um, there's obviously a great deal of intersection between agriculture and forestry in the state, so I'm very excited to be here. Um, and prior to joining the administration two and a half years ago, I was with the Wild Blueberry Commission of Maine for about five years, so 
can certainly see the intersection there on that uh, export um, crop for the state of Maine. Thank you for having me.